So that was a little blooper. Okay, I got the lids off. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a structure on the uh, on the canvas, and uh, I'm going to do that with this kind of paste. It is so yummy. So we're going to put some in here, like that. Gonna close it back up. I'm going to use a little bit of heavy modeling paste. Oh, I can't put my spoon in there, can I? So we're going to take some out with a palette knife. Now this is all acrylic based, so um, you can you can just mix this stuff together, do whatever you want. I have a little bit of structure paste. This is just a little thicker, as you can see how it's on the uh, on my palette knife. So we're going to put that in a little bit more. There you go. And I'm going to add um, these. This is Powertex 3D balls. These are the really small ones, and they come in different sizes. But we're going to put that in for a little bit of structure. And I'm going to put the large ones in. This is large Powertex 3D balls. They sell them all over the world. We're going to put that in. That's that. And then we're going to stir this concoction up. And there it is. Now, uh, as you can see, we got a lot of stuff going on in this mixture. It's nice and mixed up, and it has this sort of a sand, sandy, muddy, I don't know. It's just a nice look if you put that all together. Now, of course, I'm going to be tinting this, and then I'm going to be putting it on a canvas. So I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> now, if you're going to attempt this, uh, you don't need exactly everything I put in there. Uh, what I would suggest is that you use the, the sandy paste, because that all by itself would be really more than enough. So don't worry about not having exactly the, what I have, because you don't need to. It's just to create a little bit of, oops, a little bit of texture uh, before you do anything else because this is going to be the background now what I'm mixing up here is um, a, a base color to put in here now it's going to turn out a lot 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 lighter but most of this stuff is going to uh, dry up clear so we do want to give it a little bit of color to start with that's uh, still a little bit too too dark for me so we're going to mix that up. And you can use any color you want, but I have already have something in my mind that I want to achieve. And it's going to be um, uh, turquoise colors, but this time I'm going to add a little bit of purple. And purple and turquoise go along really nicely. They complement each other, and I think that's uh, the way I want to go. So we're going to put this in just to tint it, and you don't have to. Let me explain this, because you don't have to tint the whole, um, the base. Because uh, if you don't, uh, it'll just dry like sort of a cement color, and that's fine. Then if you paint all over it, you'll get exactly the same effects that I'm gonna do. But this just makes it a little bit easier, because if you don't paint every single little piece of sand that's on the uh, canvas, it'll still have a little bit of color. And that's just why I'm tinting the base. That's a nice color. So just making sure it's fully, fully incorporated into the, uh, the paste. There we go. And a little bit there. And that's okay, I guess. It has a full color right now. See that? That is really nice. So this can go. 
I'll take the last bit of color off. Don't want to waste anything. That's it. Okay. So we got that all figured out. We can uh, move this aside so we get some room for the canvas because I'm going to be doing this on a really big canvas and I need more room than I have. So there we go. Uh, the canvas is big. It's a uh, uh, 33 centimeters by 55 centimeters and oh, it, it's in the picture. Look at that. Fits nicely. Now, what I want to do, and I'll draw it out first. I'm going to hang it like that, this way. So what I want is sort of something that's going like this right and then it'll have a few little things coming off it like that that's what I'm going for so that's what I have in my mind now comes the fun part because we're gonna take it in our hand we're gonna put it on here and we're gonna make it come down like this and up here. Like that. And of course this bit down here. And it's a good thing to uh, draw on the canvas before you start this because it gives you um, more chance that you're going to get it right the first time. Because you don't really want to move this stuff too much. Because it's... Uh, sort of like mud and no problem if you do by the way because once you uh, start with doing the background you know the coloring it'll be fine but I do think it's easier to do it this way so I'm gonna make it a little and this bit you don't want to hurry yourself with doing this because this is what's going to be giving you the structure on your uh, on your piece after you after it's dry you're gonna be filling in bits here and there and now I need something that's gonna put it on a little bit better let's see I'll take this so that's making a lot of noise I don't like that noise there we go It's sort of like cake batter. <laughs> Don't want to eat it though, but it does feel like that. So that's the first little curl. Then we want a little curl up here. And I'm not gonna hurry it off because um, you know, sometimes I get that feeling that I have to do it really fast because otherwise it's a really long video, but really I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get past that, past that. If someone doesn't want to see the long version, they can skip through it. It's really not that difficult. There's a fast forward button. So while I'm doing this, I'll talk to you guys. And I'll... Um, let you join in with the stuff that's going on. So um, I think um, I've had my longest time at my work. Well, I'm pretty sure because uh, I'm turning 61 in August and uh, I have to work till I'm 67.4. So 67 years and four months. I've been working full time uh, ever since I was 14. Yeah, full time. Oops, <laughs> full time at 14. So uh, that's a long time to work. But um, they, I sort of got the vibe that they don't want to, you know, they don't want me to work there any longer. So that's okay. Only work there 20 years. But when you get to a certain, um, certain, what is it? Uh, age. Leeftijd is, it's in Dutch, leeftijd. Um, 
so when you get to a certain age, I don't know, I think companies just think you're worthless. They don't, you know, they can't do anything with you. I don't know how they do that, how they come up with that, because uh, my team is doing really well. And uh, I'm not the worst. I'm not the best, but I don't have to be the best. That's always what I tell my team. We don't have to be number one, but I don't want to be lower than the middle. And they, they really make sure that we aren't. So uh, we're doing a good job. I'm more for the quality quality side. We do a good thing with quality, helping uh, old people. Sometimes I'll take over those calls because, you know, I just want to help those people uh, fix their problems. But they told me, uh, I know I'm having a, uh, a conversation or a meeting with my manager pretty soon the 17th of January and he'll tell me what he's come up with so we'll just see what happens you know you can't you don't have the uh, control over something like that so I always think well if you don't have control why worry about it we'll just see and it's easy for me to say of course because uh, Holland is uh, is a little different with um, how that works than other countries because usually you would have to dip into your savings your lifetime savings and uh, you know make sure that you can still uh, live but in Holland it's a little bit different I'm uh, 60 years and five months now if you get fired after you're 60 um, of course, you still have to, you know, apply for a job. That's uh, that's certain. But you don't have to. Um, you get a sort of like <laughs> I don't know how you call it, guys, because you don't have it. But you get um, paid anyway because you've had an insurance for that for a long, long time. So you get paid anyway. And then see, every time I do a video, okay. Let's put that down there. Make it a little swirly. I do want it swirly. Come on. Here we go. Okay. That sort of looks like what I was uh, going for. Oh, yeah. But, okay. Um, you get a... Uh, you get paid anyway. And... Uh, because I'm older, after you get paid, that's like two years. You get 70% of what you've earned before that, before you got fired. So 70%. And then you go and get something else. I don't know what they call it. It's a sort of a thing that uh, older people get. Let's see. Can we see this? This looks a, a little bit broad, but it's not going to be because this, uh, this bit here in the middle is flat. So only this raised bit you'll see, but I do want a little bit more on the, uh, there. Okay. Curly there, curly there. I think we need a little bit more here on the curl. But if that's the case, then uh, I'll be doing a lot more painting in the future. So I don't think you guys are gonna feel sorry. <laughs> we'll just see. And then I get, of course, I get to move to the beach because we're going to sell this house and we're going to move to the beach. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that reminds me, I was going to show you my metal detector. Well, I'll have to wait for another other video. There it goes. I think that's about, well, maybe one more up here and one more down here. Because, you know, the effects that I'm going to be putting on later, that's going to be a lot more fun. Let's see if we can do this. Yep. Make this a little thicker, I think, because this is the bottom. It has to have some sort of weight. And I have the sniffles. I'm not coming down with another uh, flu or cold or whatever. I've been chopping onions for my husband. He's making spaghetti sauce. And I've been chopping the onions, and when you chop a lot of onions, 
it's you know you get really get the sniffles at least here you do those onions are really they have a really sharp aroma okay oops I think that makes it look a little bit better I'll put some on the end here oh and then there's a, a big disaster happened almost forgot to tell you guys Let's see if I like this. Eh, I don't think I want to put one there. It just has this flow. This one is okay, although I'm going to take some of it off. Okay, the watercolor. I was going to make these beautiful metallic watercolors, right? Well, the Dutch uh, post has um, changed the policy so I can't put it in an envelope anymore and um, I might want to try though with uh, someone who's willing to try that you can always choose not to receive it send it back but uh, they won't let you put anything in an envelope anymore you have to put it in a box and um, first I could have sent you the watercolors for like one little watercolor would have only cost 145 and now it costs 10 euros yeah I'm not kidding. 10 freaking euros. This one is uh, this down here. Oh, you can't even see that. But I sort of see that this hasn't got the right angle. So I'm going to take that off a little bit. Make it a little bit broader because it needs to be broader than that. That's better. Let's see. Oops. That's it. Now it's a little bit broader than that. Now, I might need to uh, do another layer on top. Not really sure, but we'll see. There you go. That's okay. That one's cool. And you're not going to see this video until, I think, next week, because this has to dry. I do think it needs a little bit more in here. But um, guys, don't don't hurry this up because this is the most uh, prominent thing on your canvas. This is what you're really going to see. So you really don't want to speed this up that you don't get it the way you really want it. There you go. A little bit more down here. I think that's a little thin. Okay, we're done. So um, I'll let this dry and I'll come back to you when it's dry and we'll start doing a uh, painting over. I'm, I'm going to paint. I'm not really sure how I'm going to paint it though. Let's just let it dry and we'll see. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Okay guys, this is the, the next take of, um, of this. Uh, you see me apply this sandy stuff and now I'm going to come in with the color and I'm doing it with a really big normal paintbrush because first I'm going to do the background and I want it to uh, just be messy and I'm going to go over this I, uh, I just changed the plan and that's okay you can always change the plan so we're going to be painting this. I am going to let some of this peek through, some of this color. So I'm going to go a little bit around it. But first I want the background color to be this uh, Prussian blue. And it's okay if you, you know, get on this because that's no problem whatsoever. Now. My studio is pretty much neat and tidy, but there's one thing I can't find, and I, I really need it. It's one of those roller things, rubber roll things, because I'm going to be rolling on top of this. Because this is raised, when I roll over it, only the, the top bits are going to be, um, be where the paint is going to be. So let's first do this, and then we have to let it dry. But that's going to be fast because, like I told you guys, we're having a heat wave here in Holland. 
and it's not going to be over soon. This morning it was pretty cloudy, and I thought, oh, it's going to rain, but now it's clearing up again, and it's going to be hot. So as you can see, this looks pretty messy, but just don't worry about it, because it's just the underpainting. It's just to make sure that you have the sides. There's a lot of paint on the sides and everything is nicely covered. I don't really have a, a palette for the paint because um, it's just here on the... I'll show you. This is how I just, you know, put, saturate the brush with the, uh, with the color. I want to get over it a little bit. Don't want those white spots in there. And of course the sides. Here we go. Okay, I'll stop right here, but you get the idea, so I'm going to do the, uh, the whole background, and I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see that I've done the background, and now I'm going to start finishing off um, what I have in mind. But this time, no brush. I'm going to put, be putting it on with my finger, because this is where the darkness is. And it's, um, you have to think like this is a shadow. So if the light was coming down, these parts would be dark. And that's what I'm going to be doing I'm down here, uh, which you cannot see. But trust me, I'm doing the bottom bit. Now we're going to go up. So here's a little that's going to be dark down here. go. Then we want up here. That's going to be dark. We're going to come in with highlights later. Then we want this whole bit to be dark. See, with the finger it just works a little bit better because you see how dark it's getting there. Just a little bit more. There it is. Make it come down a little bit because we want like this is rising up. Well, it is rising up, but it, you you know with these light and dark dark bits, you just give it a little bit more illusion that is coming off the canvas, and it really is coming off the canvas, but just a little bit more. So down here a little bit shadow, and then we're gonna let it dry. Maybe a little bit down here. That's not enough. There you go. Now it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, we forgot that little bit one. You can't see that. It's off camera. But that's about it. So we're going to let this dry. And remember, this is still underpainting. This is the buildup for the color. Because we're going to be putting some purple and some really nice turquoise is going to be popping up. And of course we're going to do, as last, we're going to do this pattern that I put on top with the, uh, with the sand paste. I do want those to be a little bit darker corners, so I'll do those just now before I let it dry. Still have some paint because I like it when the corners are dark. It just, you know, makes this pop just a little bit better. There you go. This one. And down here. Okay. We're going to let it dry. Be right back. Okay, pretty much dry now. So um, I'm going to be coming in with uh, different colors. You can't make it up from the uh, video right now, but this is a... Uh, purple. So we're going to put a little purple there. And 
and it's going to be all done with the, the gloves on. And up here, pull it down a little bit so you can see that. Where the purple is. Now we have to be a little bit quick because um, I have to do, uh, I have to use wet and wet. So I have to be really fast with this. That's nice. So I'm going to do the highlights in a bit, but I, I want some more colors because I really think uh, it needs to come off the canvas a little bit more than this. This is kind of dark. I don't have enough purple. I think I need some more purple. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to be mixing a permanent rosé with uh, opera. That's more of a, uh, let's see if I can mix that a little bit. And I have to be a little bit careful because I don't want too much in there. Let's see how that works. Oops, you can't see it. Just a little bit. I'm trying to highlight it. Maybe a little bit more up here. Yeah, that's going to need a little bit more purple. One. Oops, sorry about that noise, but it's because it, it has the push pins under it. This whole color scheme in my mind, but I'll have to see how it works. That's better. I kind of like how that works, you know, where that it's coming up against the, that raised bit. I kind of like that, where it shows that yeah that look, that looks good although I'm having trouble thinking about you know the video because it's just me doing a lot of uh, painting and when I do video it sort of makes me uh, do it faster I don't know why I'm not that much I don't feel like I have the uh, the peace of mind to do it slowly. There we go. And down here. And I'm going to come in with uh, also a little bit, bit of green. In a bit. Not right now though. It's going to have awesome colors. There we go. 
Yeah, that's looking good. Here. A little bit down there. starting to look better. I do need a little bit more purple though, I think, because I want to make that more opaque. And I'm out of purple. See, it's almost empty. Maybe I can take the lid off. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot in there. See, that? that's usually what you throw away. light pink. Yeah, that's really nice purpley color. It's nice and purple. Okay guys, I'm gonna work on it a little bit more. But I don't want to do that on video too much because it's going to take a long time and uh, that'll be really boring for you guys. So that's why I'll do it offline. See you in a bit. Okay, I've got some uh, turquoise, turquoise color and I'm going to do just like that a little uh, with the palette knife. I want some more blue in it. So here and there I'm gonna just put that on and then um, right now as you can see it's pretty much you know really there and that's not what we are really looking for so we're gonna go over it with it a little bit darker here and there. Ooh, you can't see what I'm doing and I must say that the colors of the iPad is not really that interesting because I can see a lot of uh, difference in the shades of blue a little bit of light back in there Okay, that's looking good. And of course you want some down here because otherwise you're missing a bit. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back in with the darker color. Which is the Prussian blue. If I can get the lid off. Yep. There you go. And then we're going to touch it up a little bit with the dark, dark blue. As you can see, it sort of makes it go back a little in the background. Which you cannot see, sorry. A little bit down there, up there. So now it's more, I don't know, it just fades a little bit in the background. A little bit. Okay, kind of like that. Then I'm going to take out my, 
I have this really nice dark blue glittery stuff. And I'm going to see what I can do with that. So I'm just going to sprinkle it here in the wet paint. Just a really tiny bit, not too much. Because I think it looks nice, you know, with the gold, it has to pick it up just a little bit. a little bit. It's starting to get interesting. But now I'm not liking all the dark blue, so that's kind of funny. So what am I going to do about that? Maybe I'll just go really go to town on it and really just do the pellet knife thing. Yeah. Hmm. See, this is what you go through when you're doing something that turns into something different that you don't really like. Then, I really like this bit here. If I could take that out, that would be fun. Let's see. Just that. That looks kind of interesting. Yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger like that. That looks really interesting. That, not so much. So I guess I'll have to work on it a little bit more. Or maybe not, just, you know, just think, okay, that's it. Maybe I can do something with this. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put... I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a big layer of paint with this thing. A little bit of white. I want the turquoise. I'm going to mix that up and see what we get. Okay, that's pretty much loaded up. Let's see what happens when we do that. Ooh, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm not really liking it. But I'm still doing it. <laughs> nah. Then it gets too busy and then you don't see this anymore. So that was not a good choice. So I'm going to take that off. Be right back guys. Okay, now that I'm taking it off, now I do like it. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do that. Make it sure I get the sides. See that now it looks that looks cool. Get some more paint on here. Yeah, this looks cool. I like this. Do the sides. Now it's starting to work. I think just it's because um, it makes it look a little bit more wild. I won't say organic. That's not the word. Okay, I'm glad I did that because now I like it again. But I need a little bit more of this in here. And I'll have to come back in with the... Uh, with the uh, glitter because the glitter is gone. Or maybe I'll have to come back in with a pellet knife. Could be too. Yeah, this is cool. Now I'm going to come back in with a little bit of that glittery stuff. There you go. 
can see it shine. Nah, you can't. But I'm pretty, pretty happy with oops, what it's doing now. Just a little bit more of the dark here. So bring that bit out here. That's it. I'm not going to do anything else with it. Oops, let's put that in water. This is it. Yep. Yep, that's it. I'm going to let it dry. Thanks for watching, guys. Laters. Love you all to pieces.